Hi there, in this video I'm going to be solving the following problem involving some logic of using the, or finding the directed line segment. Now let v, a vector v, equal the directed line segment from a to b. Now if v and a are as given below, these two things, uh, find the coordinates of b. So the first thing we need to do is recognize how they found the directed line segment right here, the a to b one. They find that by doing all of the coordinates of the vector b, subtract the coordinates of the vector a. This gives them what they titled the vector v. So that equals v. And this is the logic we're going to be using here. So the one where the coordinates we're trying to find is that of vector b. So we just use some simple algebra and manipulate this here the way we found the actual directed line segment right there. We So first off, we're going to be adding a to both sides and that'll cancel all the a's here and we'll have b, the one we're trying to find, is equal to the coordinates of the vector v, add the coordinates of the vector a. And we actually do know these two variables here, these, these two vectors. That's why we, we changed them in this regard. So to actually find the individual components or the, the coordinates of the vector b, we just work with each individual coordinate at, like one at a time. So for example, let's look at the first coordinate right here, which is a 3. We would put in a 3 here as the v, add the first coordinate of the vector a, which is a 1. So the first coordinate of the vector b would be a 4. If we do the same thing with the second coordinate, the 5 and the 3, well, what's my first v value? Well, it's a 5. So put a 5 there, add the a, the a is going to be a 3, put the 3 there. That means the middle coordinate is an 8. The last one would be 4, add 2. You just go through it like that, and it's going to be 6. So this is how we solve the first question. Let's move on to the next one. So using the same logic here, we're trying to find the coordinates of b. So normally we would do b subtract a, and this would equal v, but since we don't know what b is, we change it around and we get b is equal to v at a. So looking at these individual coordinates up here, let's just put in the values. Put in the 2 for the v, add the a value of 1. That gives us the first coordinate as a 3 for the, the vector b. The middle coordinate would be 5, add the middle coordinate there, which is all, which is happened to be a negative two. So let's get rid of that positive sign and put a negative two there. That'll give us a three overall. The last one is a, it's a four, add two, which is a six. And this, this would be the coordinates of the vector B for the question, well, for part B of this question. And that's pretty much it. That's all you do to actually find the coordinates of B using the logic of how you actually solve the directed line segment. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. And of course, as usual, I hope you're having a fantastic day.